And I'm Beth Germano, live in Salem, New Hampshire, outside one of former Vice President Joe Biden's field offices, where he left telling supporters he's feeling good and it's going to be a late night on the eve of the New Hampshire primary. And if his New Hampshire polling numbers are not looking good, he's already looking beyond the Granite State to regain his footing. You don't know how we're out there knocking on doors. It was a quick stop in Salem before a small room of supporters to simply say thank you as Joe Biden struggles in the polls in New Hampshire. Much like the former vice president, they're already tamping down expectations and looking beyond the Granite State. He's got South Carolina and Las Vegas, and they're locked up for him. And Delaware's locked up. Connecticut is solid. I'm not worried. So you are looking ahead. I'm looking ahead. At a campaign stop in Guilford, you know, Joe Biden was see, too. I mean, there was no I mean, mention of his Democratic you know, rivals. He focused squarely on President times. Trump and his credentials to take him on, like, especially on the economy. Guess where he got that good economy from? Obama Biden administration. Let's not sugarcoat this. Donald Trump, Donald Trump is is now in more danger. Uh, to uh, our community and our country than, uh, than it's ever been. Biden entered the race with an air of inevitability, but he's struggling to regain his footing after a poor performance in Iowa. Just talk to the folks down in South Carolina. They're pretty excited. He believes after tomorrow, South Carolina will be his firewall with a more diverse electorate, but that's still 18 days away. And that's a long time to campaign and for him to have people get to know the decent human being that he is. And interestingly enough, after unleashing a vicious attack ad on Pete Buttigieg's experience this weekend, there was no mention of that today. And as a very well-known politician, he is still on the stump simply asking voters to take a look. Reporting live from Salem, New Hampshire, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. All right, Beth.